Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can publish our DHT11 sensor values from our Arduino to OPC DA server and our third party OPC DA client like Metrican and Cap server will able to read those values. So in the previous video, we have used Metrican OPC DA Explorer client to read our DHT11 sensor value, which is our Arduino publishing to our OPC DA server. Now in this video, I want to control the digital pins of Arduino using my OPC DA client. Okay, so here you can see on my Arduino, I have connected one LED. So I want to control the state of this LED using my OPC DA client. So in this video, I'm going to use the cap server as an OPC DA client. And with the help of cap server, I want to change the state of this LED or we can say we want to control the digital pins of Arduino using our OPC DA client and our Arduino is connected with our Arduino OPC DA server and our OPC DA client will also connect with this OPC DA server so we can change the state easily. So let's see how we will do this. So here is my Arduino code and I'm going to upload this code into my Arduino Uno. So I have press upload button. Now I have to press reset when it start uploading. Okay, so it is uploading. Okay, done uploading. So our code is uploaded into our Arduino. You will find this code in the description of this video. You can directly download this code and you can push it to your Arduino. Now we will minimize this one. Now we will run our Arduino OPC DA server. So here is my Arduino OPC DA server. I have to run this server. So our server is up and running. You can see three pop up. Okay, now we will open our cap server to connect with our Arduino OPC DA server. Okay, so with the help of cap server, we are going to connect with this Arduino OPC DA server. And then after we will control the state of this LED using our uh, cap server quick client. Okay, so let me minimize this one. Let me go to connectivity and create a new channel. And it will be our OPC DA client type channel. So it's Arduino, Arduino OPC DA channel and then next and then we have to browse the server. So click on select server, expand the local machine and you will find Arduino OPC server dot two and we will press OK to this and then we will press next, next and then we will press finish. Now we have to add a device here. So we will click add device and then here is our Arduino Uno. Okay, sorry for this Uno. And then we will press next again. Again, next. I don't want to put any group name here. So I'll press next here. Again, next, next and then finish. Okay, now I have to start my runtime because my runtime right now it is in stop condition. So I have to go to runtime and then I have to connect and yes and no. Okay, so my runtime is started. Now I have to click on our device and then I have to go to properties and then I have to go to import and we will import our tag from our Arduino OPC server to the cap server. So you can see our Arduino OPC server, we will expand this and we have a one tag here which I have created in our Arduino code. So you can see here LED is the tag name and it's a read write tag. Okay. We can also read the state of that LED and we can also change the state of that LED. Okay. And it's a Boolean type and the values are updating from this callback function. So we will minimize this one. We will add this to items and then we will press OK. And then again, we will press OK here. So you can see Arduino serial 0 dot LED is here. Now we want to read the state of this LED and also we want to change the state of this LED. So we will open our quick client. And then you can see Arduino OPC DA channel and then Arduino Uno, our device. You can see the value of our LED is zero. And also you can see here our LED is in off state. Now I want to change the state. So I'll right click. I'll go to synchronous write and then I'll write as a one to turn on the LED. And if I press apply, you can see my LED is glowing. So 
this is how you can control your digital pins of Arduino using OPC DA client software and uh, the communication protocol right now is OPC DA so if you want to perform any industrial application with this you can perform your industrial application with this OPC DA protocol now I want to change the state of my LED to off state so I'll go to synchronous right and then I'll press 0 and then I'll apply again now I want to change it again to on let me apply off let me apply so if you want to control your pump your motor or your any leds or anything else you can control using your uh, scada system you can connect your scada with arduino opc da server and you can control the digital pins of arduino using this way okay so i hope this process is clear to you let me close this quick client and no let me stop the runtime okay so as you can see on this diagram we have control our Arduino digital pin from our OPC DA client through our OPC DA protocol so if you have any question or any queries regarding this you can ask me in the comment section you can also ask me in the Instagram you can also ask me in the telegram okay and we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you